matter in our surroundings. In this section, we are going to cover states of matter. Matter exists in three different states. Solid state, liquid state and gaseous state. The example of solid state as shown in figure is a notebook and a pen. Other examples of solid state are your pencil box, chair, table, anything around you that has definite shape and volume are the, comes under solid state. Example of liquid state are water, laminate, cold drink, etc. The example of gases state are blowing air, wind, storm, oxygen that you breathe in, carbon dioxide that you breathe out, they all come under gaseous state. We are going to learn in detail about these three states in coming section. Now, what is solid state? When the particles of matter are bounded very tightly with each other, then they form solids. We know that matter is made up of small particles and when these particles are bounded very tight with each other, then they form solids. And what are the properties of solid state? Solids have definite shapes and volume. That is, they have well-defined boundary. Solids are not compressible and cannot flow. Since the particles of the solid matter are bounded very tightly, therefore they cannot flow. They are not free to move. To understand these points, let us consider some examples. Here in this example, microscopic view of arrangement of particles in this solid state is shown. You can see that particles are bounded very tightly with each other. That is, they don't have enough space in between them. Now let us understand with another example that solids have definite shape. In this example, we have taken three objects, a pen, a wooden block and a book. And we are trying to outline the shapes of these objects. At the end, what we will see, let us see. See, the person has outlined this book, he has outlined this block and now he is outlining the pen. You will observe when we remove these objects from their places, we get a definite boundary, a definite shape of these objects. Therefore, it shows that solids have definite shape. Here you can see that the particles are bounded very tightly. They don't have enough space in between them. Therefore, solids cannot flow. Now, the question that might come to your mind is, do these particles does not have any kinetic energy? It is not so. In solids, the particles vibrate about their fixed position. That is, if this is the position of this particle, then they vibrate about its own position. It does not move. This is because the kinetic energy is too low. It is very low to let them break away from their mutual force of attraction. Since the kinetic energy is very low, therefore, they cannot come out of their mutual force of attraction. Thus, solids have definite shapes and volumes and they are not compressible and cannot flow. There exist some solid state matter which do not have similar properties as mentioned earlier. For example, sugar or salt takes the shape of the jar in which they are kept. Both sugar and salt are solid in nature. Let us see. Here, sugar has taken the shape of the jar in which it is being kept. However, if you concentrate on the individual particles of sugar, the shape remains same throughout. See, the individual shape of these particles of solid have a definite shape, that is cubes. And it does not depend whether we put this sugar in a jar or on a plate. The individual shape of the particles of sugar remains same throughout. Another example of this exception is a rubber band. Rubber band on stretching changes its shape. When we stretch a rubber, it changes its shape. However, rubber band is solid in nature. It happens because force applied on the rubber changes its shape. And when we remove this force, rubber band regains its original shape. Therefore, rubber band is an exceptional solid state matter. Other example of this exception is a sponge. You all must have seen a sponge. A sponge is solid in nature. However, it can be compressed. This is due to the fact that the sponge has small holes present in it. These holes trap air and when we compress it, a sponge expels this air and we are able to compress it. 
these are some of the examples of exceptional cases with solid state when do we define a matter to be in liquid state when the particles of matter are not bounded very tightly and can move about randomly from their position then they form liquids for example this is a water which is kept in glass this is liquid state if you see the microscopic view of the arrangement of particles then you will see that particles have some space in between them they are not very tightly bounded like in solids therefore they can move about randomly from their positions liquids do not have fixed shapes but they have fixed volumes that is liquids take the shape of the container in which they are kept like here water has taken the shape of the glass in which it is kept and they have fixed volumes that is the amount of space that a matter is going to occupy in liquid state is fixed for example here liquid being filled in the bottle has taken the shape of the bottle when poured in this glass has taken the shape of this glass and when poured in this bowl has taken the shape of this bowl and amount of space is also fixed therefore the shape of the liquids is not fixed they take the shape of the container in which they are kept like they have taken the shape of this bottle first and when poured into this container it has taken the shape of this container when the liquid was poured in this bowl it has taken the shape of the bowl however the amount of space occupied by this liquid was fixed particles of liquid can move from their place and thus liquids can flow hence called fluids in this example you have seen that water has flown through this pipe through this tap and occupied the space inside this bottle and when it was allowed to flow it has flown freely and occupied the space in this container therefore particles of liquids can move from their place and hence they are called fluids therefore fluids are any substance that can flow solids liquids and gases can diffuse in liquids in previous section of this chapter we have studied that solids and liquids have diffused in liquids for example sugar being the solid state of matter has diffused has dissolved in water similarly an ink in its liquid form has diffused or dissolved in water gases also diffuse in liquids the gases from atmosphere diffuse and dissolve in water for example oxygen and carbon dioxide which form the essential part for aquatic life dissolves in water they can breathe these aquatic animals like fishes can breathe in water due to presence of dissolved oxygen in water rate of diffusion of gases and liquids is higher than that of solids rate of diffusion of gases and liquids is higher because the particles of matter have spaces in between them in comparison to the particles that forms solids what is gaseous state when the particles in matter are highly scattered and moves about randomly at high speed then they form gases for example we know that in balloons gas is filled if we take the microscopic view for the arrangement of particles in gases we will find that the particles are highly scattered they have large amount of space in between them that is why they are free to move randomly at high speed gases are highly compressible and this is due to the fact that they have large intermolecular space in between them for example lpg we use at home for cooking that is liquefied petroleum gas is compressed and filled in cylinders similarly oxygen that is supplied in hospitals and cng that is compressed natural gas used as fuels are example of highly compressible nature of gases rate of diffusion of gases is higher that is gases diffuse at a higher rate to understand this let us consider an example in your daily life you must have observed that you come to know about the dish be being cooked at certain distance this is due to the particles of aroma of food mixes with air reaches our nostrils a smell of hot cooked food reaches us in seconds due to the high speed of particles that is high kinetic energy and larger spaces in between them let us take another example to understand the compressibility of gases 
here we have taken three syringe and we have tied a rubber cork at their mouth in first syringe we have filled chalk in second we have filled water and in third we have filled oxygen that is first is filled with solid state of matter second is filled with liquid state of matter and third syringe is filled with gaseous state of matter now we are going to compress this piston what we will see the compression is highest in oxygen that is in gaseous form of matter little low in water and very less in case of chalk that is solid state of matter therefore gases are highly compressible state of matter